In respect to the matter in Belmapan with the police officer who was in a vehicle parked on the roadside, and uh, that vehicle was subsequently run into by a vehicle driven by Mr. Oscar Mira. That matter is currently being investigated by the police, and uh, you would know that the police officer in question who was in the vehicle sustained severe head injuries and uh, is still admitted in the hospital. <coughs> While Mr. Mira is saying that the vehicle was parked on the road and he may not have seen it before colliding into it. From a legal perspective, that is tantamount to driving without duking attention. Because you should be, if you're paying attention while driving, uh, you should be able to see an obstacle in front of you, at least from reasonable enough distance and avoid hitting that obstacle. <clears throat> so that matter is currently being looked at by the police, and hopefully by the end of this week, we'll decide how we proceed with that matter. Are you able to speak at all about the, the police officer because we haven't received a full update on his condition? Well, um, he's recovering, thank God for that. Um, he was checked on yesterday, and he's now speaking. He's conscious. and. Uh, Whenever he's in a proper state to give a statement, then that will be done. But um, he's recovering. Did Mr. Samira give a sample? I cannot really say at this time uh, if he did. I'll have a check with the police officers, and uh, I'll provide that information to you after the press brief. Was it determined that the officer was indeed sleeping on the side of the road? Because reports suggest that a vehicle had that managed to avoid him had uh, made a report that someone was inside the vehicle, possibly sleeping. According to Mr. Miller. Whether or not the officer was sleeping in the vehicle would be insignificant. It, the vehicle was parked. And I maintain my position that if you are a diligent driver, you would be able to see an obstacle on the road in front of you. And to answer your question, Jules, in terms of the, the sample, it is standard procedures that once there's a traffic accident, police must request sample from, if there are two drivers, both drivers. If there's only one, one driver. And uh, in circumstances where the sample is not given, then we'd proceed to charge immediately. So I would want to think that the fact that he was not charged immediately would mean that he cooperated with the police and gave that sample.